calling attention. With great sorrow and disappointment, I would like to raise this issue of natural calamity, especially huge landslide which happened in Wynard, Bepadi. Sir, yesterday early morning, entire nation woke up with hearing one of the saddest news we ever heard. Since that time, till now, entire people of India, especially the people from Kerala, Malayalis, are weeping in front of the television channels. Such horrifying scenes are witnessed. Small children and their mothers, elderly people, the dead bodies are floating on the rivers. And most of the dead bodies are not even in a position to identify because completely body has been destroyed. The entire two village has been devastated, sir. Sir, Wynard has an, one of the natural scenic places in this country. God has given that much beauty of that place. But yesterday, this type of tragedy is not new for Wynard. It was earlier was also happened. But it was actually shocked the entire human being of this country, sir. Sir, my request to the union government, we are very glad that government is ready to have a discussion on these things. Already, whenever this type of crisis come, government has to come forward for rescue measures. Central and state government has to work together. In Kerala, there is a typical scenario. Last time, flood was happened. Government, state government, central government, along with people all over Kerala participated in the rescue mission. Basically, I'm trying to tell that the poor fishermen rescued the maximum people that point of time flood people. This time also, why not witnessing that entire people of Kerala, especially people from Vainat, are cooperating with the rescue operations and <coughs> state government, central government, and all other agencies, especially armies doing NTR of team is there. But still there, as per the reports, 150, more than 150 people have lost their lives. Still there, more than 100 people, we don't know how much is acceptable, are missing. There, were, there is no answer for this for us, sir. There were only we can Request the government two maximum measures. One, short term action for rescue operations and immediate relief to the deceased personalities. And three, long term measures to ascertain the people to get away from this type of tragedies. Sir, Government of India has already announced the compensation of two like all, all, all these cases. Here, the plantation laborers are the most of them. All are poor people. Then, the Government of India has to, this thing is only, not only in why not, the entire Kerala is now monsoon, Karnataka is having monsoon. The Government has to support the states sir, financially to come over the situation, sir. Sir, Honorable Home Minister told in the other house, I wrote from the Don't media, me. sir, that there was a warning one week before 23rd itself about this landslide. I don't know. The state government has to clarify it. The state government has to clarify it. 
NDRF team is also there on 23rd on boards. Two things has to be verified. What is this? Let me speak. This is an emotional situation. Let me, let me tell. Because, sir, if that early warning system was given on 23rd, 30th early morning incident was happened. What was the action taken by the state government? What was the follow-up action taken by the central government? Whether the evacuation process has been done by the state and whether the state, the central government has to be followed for the evacuation. These two things in the public domain only after the statement by the Home Minister has been done in the Rajya Sabha. We don't want to politicize this issue any way because this is the this is the most painful disaster for this country, sir. We are still praying, sir, those who are missing their lives to be saved, sir. We are all praying for it. The entire Kerala is praying and the country is praying. There are those who are working in the field also, they are the, including the army, including the NDRF team, including the state uh, government officials. They are all doing 24 into 7 works. But some strong measures for assistance, rescue operations, rehabilitations. Sir, I don't know. There are modern technological methods, sir. There are modern technological methods, methods to give early warning system for this type of tragedies. Whether the government is exploring the modern technological part, there are world maps showing most landslide, earthquake prone areas, which give the early warning system to the people and the state officials. Whether the government is going to move forward technologically to get this system. I would like to know from the Honourable Minister, sir, through you. Sir, natural calamities, we cannot stop. But if the warning system is there, several life has been saved. If warning system has given, there are a lot many incidents. Evacuation happened in a successful manner. Life has been saved. My request, I'm not taking much of the time. My request that Kerala last five years facing 2018 flood, 19 flood, then landslides. Every year, sir, we are facing this type of big tragedies. Not only in Kerala, it's happening in Assam, Karnataka is happening, Northeastern states happening, Bihar it is happening. Sir, Tamil Nadu is happening. Yeah. Sir, there should be a, there should be a, some system, to, permanent system. There are systems. I am agreeing. There are systems to uh, support this. But when this type of situation is coming, without without ill will, the government of India has to come forward to support the states. Uh, we can we can politicize the issue after the rescue operations is over. Uh, but whatever people that can be saved, we can debate it on it, we can move forward it. But now we should show the country that, that sir, we are together to save our people, we are together to make our people's life more precious, sir. This is what I want to say, sir. Jai in, sir.